So, um, Gavin Boyle, welcome to Chesterfield, first of all. Thank you very much. I'm very glad to be here. Um, tell us a bit about Gavin Boyle to start with. Right. Well, I, I've um, worked in the, the, the NHS for quite a long time. Um, I did a degree in biology at university and uh, a little bit of time in, in private industry uh, and uh, joined the health service in sort of Liverpool, worked in and around hospitals there, worked in different parts of the country. So it's been a bit of a journey over that 20-year over that period. But uh, I finally worked my way back up to, uh, to be in the north and uh, to be in, in Chesterfield, which is uh, you know, a real privilege. And why Chesterfield? What how did the job come about? It's it's interesting. I mean, it, it's um, it's always been on my radar really as as a really as a really good hospital. And I and, and uh, not so long ago, I used to be director of operations at uh, the Queen's Medical Centre in Nottingham. So I kind of knew the patch a little bit. And always in the sort of corner of my, my vision was Chesterfield, uh, and and the fact that it's just a really really good hospital. And over the years, I've kind of followed its uh, its kind of progress and. Uh, no, it's just a it's a good, it's a good place. I mean, we don't get everything right, um, but there's a lot there's a lot you know, there's a really firm foundation to build on. Um, you've been here a couple of days, and you said you were you know your ethos is to get out there and meet yeah. everyone. Um, how's that going? It's it's really good. Um, you know, I mean, I kind of um, I mean, working in a hospital is the best job in the world, and and, and and one of the one of the really good things about it is one getting out to meet the staff, but also to meet patients as well. So, you know, using my first few days as a, as, as a real opportunity. To do that has just been brilliant, and I've had a, a, a terrific reception. I mean, uh, people have been incredibly welcoming, uh, and you just get a sense that you know this is a great hospital, uh, but it's poised to you know skyrocket to the, to the next level, and I'm just really pleased to be able to play a part in that. I mean, that was my next question. You know, the NHS, like everywhere now, is struggling. It's constrained yeah. by financial sort of constraints and everything. Where do you see the hospital going? What's your kind of vision for the hospital? Well, I mean, you know, th these are challenging times for the NHS. You've got um, you've got the economic issues that, that you know that we're all facing. You know, in every walk of life, but the NHS is no different. Um, we've got the, the government's reforms. We've got a new health bill has just gone through through Parliament. So, so things are changing. So, so one one of the um, one of my challenges. Is, is, is how do I enable the Royal to respond to those changes in a way that enables them to kind of um, to, to thrive in this new, new environment, not just to survive. So, you know, I think, I think uh, although it's a time of great change, there are also some terrific opportunities for us as a hospital. And it must be an exciting time to come here. I mean, unfortunately we had the fire last year, yeah. and, um, but we're having a new eye hospital, yeah. and we've got the development and the, you know, the casualty will be, yeah. the, the main entrance will be rebuilt. It must be an exciting time to come. It is, it is. I mean, it's kind of, I mean, you mentioned the fire, but, but it's, it's a great example of uh, the, kind of, the kind of spirit that I think exists in the hospital. So obviously it was, it was new, you know, there was a fire, and you know, very disappointing, but you know, the people just bounced back, got right onto it, and uh, we'll have the new, the new entrance opening in, uh, you know, in the next uh, couple of months, so that's 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 terrific. And funnily enough, I've just done a sort of tour around the hospital. I've just come in from outside. It's a lovely sunny day, and uh, just having a good look around. And uh, you know, there's there's a lot going on here. You know, there's there's there's, there's redevelopment, refurbishment. So, uh, and I think um, I mean, although you know the future looks uh, challenging, there's no reason why a hospital like the Royal can't continue to move forward. And you know, and that's certainly my ambition for the hospital. I mean, this hospital is very much a community hospital, even though it's huge, it's, it's a real part of the community. What's your message to sort of patients and visitors and, and the community generally? My message to the community is we, we exist for one reason and one reason only, and that is to serve you. And that's why we're here. And I think you know, increasingly the challenge for us is to think about how can we deliver services in a way that, that, that meets the needs of local people, that we arrange things for the convenience of local people and not you know, the other way around. So you know, my, my first message would be that we're, we're, we're here to serve. I mean, really, all I'm trying to achieve is just two things. It's a very simple plan. And the first thing is to provide really good quality uh, patient services, good clinical outcomes, safe services, and a great patient experience. So that's the first thing. But the second thing is to try and make this a, a, a great place to work uh, for, for, for my colleagues here at the, at the hospital. So in many ways it's, it's quite simple. But um, I mean another one of the great opportunities that we've got is, uh, and it really comes out of the government's uh, uh, you know, reform of the NHS, is uh, the fact that GPs have got a much greater role now in terms of the commissioning of, of hospital services. And I'm really looking forward um, to supporting hospital clinicians working much more closely with, with our GP colleagues to redesign services and improve services. Uh, for the public, so that's a, that's another fantastic opportunity for us.
Thank you very much for speaking to us, Gavin. That's been a real pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.